Okay, if you have a Toyota Tundra or a Lexus LX600, stop driving it. We have new information today. This is the recall now that affects the Toyota Tundra. This is now the NHTSA National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's official report. This is not the Toyota uh, memo for a recall. This is actually the legit recall that the government has and we're going to get new details today and i'm going to tell you you need to stop driving this vehicle if you're affected by this recall i want to make this crystal clear this recall if you have these tundras or a lx 600 or any toyota or lexus with this twin turbo v6 is serious this is not about your engine this is about your life Imagine you're driving down the highway or your wife with your children and one of these new Tundras, Sequoias, GX550s, LX600 going 70 miles an hour down the highway and there's an 18-wheeler in your rearview mirror also doing around the speed limit but maybe a little bit faster and your new Tundra decides to spin its main bearings right then and there on the highway. What's going to happen is this engine is going to stall and this tractor trailer, this 18 wheeler is going to ram into the back of your vehicle and smash it to pieces and a tragedy could happen. Your wife, your kids, you, yourself, your family members could get injured or worse. Take it seriously. We have all witnessed traffic accidents while driving down the highway or down the road. And the first thing that comes to people's mind is, oh, it must have been a stupid driver or an idiotic driver. But here's the thing. The reality is many of these accidents are not caused by driver error on either part, uh, either party involved in the accident. Instead, a lot of these accidents are caused by things like mechanical engine failures, mechanical transmission failures, brake failures, tire failures, in other words, things that are out of control of the driver. So you have to take safety recalls. In other words, there's a problem with this car. It might shut off and it might cause this, what you see day in and day out. And don't ever consider to be the result of not driver error, but something like a safety recall or a soon to be safety recall, which brings us back to the Toyota recall here. The V35 engine, that's your twin turbo V6 and your Tundra because they left machining debris in other words when they drilled the holes in the block or the head and or the head they left the trash in there and they didn't clean it out it may cause engine failure of the bearings which result may result in potential engine knocking engine rough running no start and here's the most important thing engine stall and this is what we're focusing on today. This engine stall is dangerous. You must take it seriously. Loss of vehicle motive power while driving at higher speeds can increase the risk of crash. So today is going to be about the details. And we're going to get into the details. There's new details here. Hold on. About how this is going to cause potentially the risk of a crash. So please, as we continue here, take this seriously. If you're affected, stop driving this thing, your Tundra, your LX600, or even if you have suspicions that this engine may shut off on you, catastrophically fail on the highway, or going any speed over 50 miles an hour, take this thing back to Toyota, shove it up their nose, and get a rental, or excuse me, a uh, what you call a loaner, while they're fixing it or dealing with the resolution, which, by the way, they don't have one yet. We're going to talk about that. All right. The first thing uh, this new report reveals is that Toyota lied about the hybrids. <laughs> if an engine failure occurs on a hybrid vehicle, the vehicle continues to have some motive power for limited distances, and it will give you a bunch of beeps and stuff, and therefore, we're not including hybrids under the safety recall. What this highlighted paragraph essentially is saying <laughs> what they're saying is, and what people suspected when they issued this uh, uh, recall a couple weeks ago, without these details, they said the hybrids weren't affected. And people said, how could, they're all the same engine, how could the hybrid Tundras not be affected? Well, Toyota's excuse is, because this is a safety recall, there's no real safety engine if your hybrid Tundra's engine blows up, because the electric motor will be there to basically back it up, go into limp mode, 
and keep you moving down the highway safely. In other words, there's less risk of anything like that happening to you in that situation. And I think that's highly disingenuous by Toyota to claim that the hybrid powertrains are not affected because as we all know, and as I just said, they have the same exact engine. They are affected by this. They're gonna blow up too, potentially. And yeah, your hybrid, technically, uh, your hybrid motor will be there to kind of help you out of that situation, but it's disingenuous to imply that the engine itself on hybrids is not affected by this warranty, uh, or this, excuse me, this recall, it is. So if you've got one of these Tundra iForce Max, you've got the same problem engine, and Toyota is playing games here, and they're playing semantics, and they're really, 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 really pushing the line here when it comes to safety. Because this max part, theoretically, will back you up in the event that the I-Force part <laughs> lets you down and blows up its bearings. The max part will take over with, this, uh, with its electric motor. But your I-Force part is still going to potentially spin its bearings and blow up on you. And I think Toyota knows they're being disingenuous, and that's why they're kind of hinting here. Some of these vehicles equipped with a different engine configuration, <laughs> purposely vague, have a hybrid powertrain system, and the when your iForce engine breaks, the motor will save you. So technically, this is not a safety recall according to NHTSA standards. So blah, 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 run away, run away, run away. So what's the good new news? The good new news is Toyota claims, according to the new report, that the twin turbo V6 engines in this configuration manufactured after the problem period were manufactured with a new or improved manufacturing process that better clears the machining debris. In other words, after they figured out that they were having problems cleaning the trash out the engine, they basically went back and changed the manufacturing processes and uh, they now according to toyota can clean out the trash that means that uh, if you're interested in a gx 550 or you are outside of this uh, production date period that we see down here and you have a any of the vehicles that have a twin turbo v6 you may not be affected that's if we take toyota's word at face value here so that is some good news if you trust toyota and their words here now, it's important, again, to note that these are all the vehicles that have the twin-turbo V6 in America. There's still the Land Cruiser 300, and they're also in the world market that has this twin-turbo V6. There's also the Lexus LS500, which is sold in America, that uh, is a sedan. And those two vehicles I just mentioned also have reported main bearing uh, uh, failures anecdotally in other words just internet talk we don't have a lot of data but uh, Toyota is claiming that they fixed the problem so your GX 550 shouldn't be affected and your Sequoia shouldn't be affected because they changed the manufacturing process and that's interesting to note because again the Lexus was produced in Japan and the Tundra in America so it's not a engineering uh, issue. It is a production issue because presumably both the Japanese manufacturers and the American manufacturers of these uh, engines uh, were using the same process in both countries. And the process of cleaning the garbage out of the engine uh, was to blame here. And so when they changed the process on both of these vehicles, presumably it was corrected. Now pay attention here. We're gonna, I'm going to say this risk of crash that's what this is about we're not talking about oh look toyota can't make an engine blah 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 that's material junk we're talking about real stuff here we're talking about we're talking about this you don't want this though that looks pretty mild she just looks she looks pretty safe okay you don't want this this is what we're talking about today this is what this recall is about this is what we don't want but this is exactly what I have highlighted here. So stop driving these vehicles, okay? Stop, send them back to Toyota. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Now the involved components here are, in other words, the, what's wrong? What's the problem according to Toyota? 
and they have the part number is this, which take a wild guess what that is. You guessed it, the whole engine. <laughs> so if we put that part number in, and they're all, they're, they're, they're different part numbers, but all leads back to the same thing. Engine assembly partial. <laughs> and this puppy is going to cost you, <laughs> wait for it, $17,000. Dollars and fifteen. So I can't even say it. you 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 read the number. It's not a pretty number. There's no picture of this. It's engine assembly partial. Now, I don't know if that means the bottom half of the engine or the whole engine. I don't know what Toyota is saying here because it's very vague. It's priced like an entire new engine. That doesn't look like just the short brog. That looks like the whole entire engine there. So that might hint that Toyota's fix is going to be the whole entire engine because i believe there's a code a different code for the short block here because again this is the short block assembly. so toyota has a different part number for their uh, short block so we can see here that's the short block assembly and this costs only three thousand bucks now i know somebody's gonna point it. that's a v8 i i or a, a four cylinder or something like that and I, I, I get it. There's no actual uh, part number for the, uh, the V6. So this is like a short block four cylinder. But that's, that's just the, the, the image is wrong. It says the image is not a representation of the actual product. So if we look down here, we can see it's for the Tundra with the uh, 3.5 liter uh, twin turbo V6. So this indeed, even though the picture is wrong, the short block for these things is only uh, 33, you know, 3,300 bucks. But uh, Toyota, in their official literature, uh, or the report today, is saying, uh, even though it says engine assembly partial, it looks to be the whole engine for over 17 grand here. So going back to our uh, official report here, the involved components, entire engine. That's essentially what we just realized here. Now, there's some other involved components, uh, engine assembly. They're all that say engine assembly partial. They all have different part numbers, but when you search them all, and I did search them all, it's all the same exact uh, part of the whole entire engine for, again, 17000 bucks. The component manufacturer, in other words, uh, Toyota claims a supplier to blame here is Huntsville, Alabama. That's right. <laughs> Those are the people that uh, Toyota is saying uh, made your engine there in Alabama, which is pretty much well known. But again, it's weird because it affects the uh, Lexus LX 600, which is, uh, again, of course, made in uh, Tahara, Japan as well. OK, so what's the remedy? And this is the point of my drama in it. But it's not drama. This is safety. This is your life. This is your children's life. This is your spouse's life. This is your loved one's life, family life. What is the remedy? The remedy program right now is none. There is no remedy. You will, you will be informed that a remedy is under investigation. And you will be contacted when further information is available. This means this is a dangerous recall because they don't have a remedy for you. Your engine at any point can cut off on the highway and cause you to get rear-ended by a tractor trailer and you could lose your life or worse, your children or somebody else you care about could lose their lives. So there is no remedy at this time. How to remedy? How do we remedy? Blah, blah, blah. How to remedy? None. Nothing is there right now. There's no remedy. Instead, Toyota says they are going to notify people by uh, the end of July and uh they're gonna essentially get back to you with an answer <laughs> please hold <laughs> a rep customer service representative will be with you shortly but this is not a joking matter there is no remedy right now and this ain't no joke okay nobody wants this here to happen because their tundra their Tundra's engine shut off on the highway. Take this very seriously. Day in and day out, all throughout America, we see this. And too often, we're quick to blame the dumb driver in quotations. Never do we consider that this carnage here, this tragedy, who knows how often the actual percentage, the percentage is could be caused by not driver error but some sort of manufacturing defect aka something that should warrant a safety recall 
one of the most diabolical things in how, at least in this country, auto and uh, accidents are investigated is they don't even record how many of these accidents are caused by manufacturers' defects. We got speeding, drunk driving, bad weather, distractions. If you look at other charts, they'll say something like other, you know. But, you know, the reality is we know, we know car accidents are caused by more than just drunk drivers and speeding. But there's no organization that's going to investigate these accidents in the same way they do, say, a plane crash where they really get to the root of the matter. But the truth is the NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, would not exist if they didn't know deep down that manufacturing defects cause loss of human life. In other words, tragic automotive accidents. They wouldn't exist if that fact wasn't true. And that's why they're in charge of these so-called safety recalls. That's what the S stands for. The safety in this is because manufacturers screw up, they end up causing death. And this is the government agency responsible for mitigating, eliminating, or at least reducing the number of deaths called, caused by manufacturer shenanigans. So take this seriously. This is a safety recall, as we said and we saw earlier. Risk of crash. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be your children. Don't let it be someone you love. Mm-hmm.